Welcome back to the Crypto World channel. In this video, I'll be going through some more technical analysis for you guys because you guys enjoyed my last video so much. It's the most viewed video on my channel by far. And in that video, I was showing you how I do some of my technical analysis. So I'll be giving you more of that in this video. So yeah, in this video, I'll be showing you exactly where I think Bitcoin will be heading in the next few days, where Ethereum will be heading and more. So if all of that sounds good to you, make sure to smash the like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And if you enjoy this type of content, let me know in the comments down below. Or if you want to see some other type of videos, let me know in the comments. I'll be replying to every single comment on this video. But yeah, with all of that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. So right here, we're on the four hour Bitcoin chart. And as you can see, the price has been exploding over the past few days, especially. Now, no matter what bearish signs the chart might be telling us, Bitcoin seems to be just breaking into new all-time highs after new all-time highs every day. In my last video, I mentioned a couple bearish signs that I was seeing on the bigger time frames and I mentioned that we could see a pullback sometime soon. And since then, Bitcoin's made new all-time highs. So obviously Bitcoin's overly bullish right now. Still be careful, like still be prepared for a retracement, but I'm just saying that there's so many buyers right now in Bitcoin that we might actually not see a retracement. But yeah, anyway, I'm just gonna show you this quick little bearish sign before we get into more of the bullish stuff. So right here on the four hour chart, if you look here, we have a bearish divergence forming. So a bearish divergence is when you have a high and a higher high. And then over in the RSI, which is the relative strength index, you have a high and oh, let me get the drawing tool. You have a high and then a lower high. So as you can see, the RSI and the price are diverging. Now this is known as a bearish divergence and more often than not, this results in the price coming back down. But like I said just a moment ago, Bitcoin is so bullish, it doesn't really care about the bearish signals at the moment. Like if you look at this big flash crash that we had here where Bitcoin drops like 20% in a matter of hours, that was pretty bearish for Bitcoin, I'm not gonna lie. Like the big wick up, that was a bullish sign, but the fact that we crashed pretty hard, that showed some big resistance at around the $34,000 level, but we continue to smash through that level into new all-time highs. And currently at the time of recording this video, we're at about 37,000 US dollars per Bitcoin. And we reached as high as nearly $38,000. I honestly think that at the current rate of Bitcoin's growth, within the next week, we will be over $40,000 US dollars per Bitcoin. Now, the $40,000 level could see some resistance since it's a big round number, like the $20,000 level, for example. But keep in mind, back when Bitcoin broke $30,000, which was right here, there was a bit of resistance coming up to this level. As you can see, Bitcoin slowed down, but as soon as it started to edge past this level, it exploded. And Bitcoin did the same thing back at 20,000. So back here, this is the $20,000 level just here. Bitcoin was edging up close to this level. And then as soon as it got past it, it exploded past the level. And I think we could see a similar thing at the $40,000 level where Bitcoin will be coming up to this level. This is the $40,000 level. The price will start to come up to this level. We could see a bit of resistance here, but if we do make it through the $40,000 level, I think Bitcoin's going to explode once again up to, I would say around the mid $40,000 levels before we start to see another cool off yet again. But yeah, as of right now, at least on the four hourly chart, apart from that little bearish divergence, Bitcoin's looking very strong. And if you zoom out to the daily chart, it's looking even stronger. Right now, Bitcoin is still in the overbought areas on the bigger timeframes, like the daily and the weekly. But once again, Bitcoin doesn't care about that. It continues to push higher and higher, and there's big levels of volume coming in, consistent big volume coming in, which shows that there's institutional buyers starting to buy in. These huge level of volumes that are consistent through here aren't just little retail investors like you or me. These are big institutional investors starting to come into Bitcoin. And obviously this all started with Grayscale and MicroStrategy and PayPal starting to enter the space and more and more are starting to join. So both the fundamentals and the technicals of Bitcoin right now are looking very bullish. Now I got a couple comments on my last video asking whether I would buy, sell or just 
hold at these levels. And here's what I have to say about that. Currently, I'm holding a decent amount of Bitcoin myself and I am holding it strong. I'm not buying anymore. I'm not selling any at all. At these levels, I'm simply just holding my Bitcoin. Now, of course, if you're risking a lot of money on Bitcoin or especially if you're in a leverage trade, then it's always good to take a bit of profits off the table. Or if you don't own any Bitcoin or you want to buy more Bitcoin, I would suggest the strategy of dollar cost averaging, which is buying in slowly over time. Don't just go all in at these price levels just in case we do get another crash. But yeah, people always ask me whether they should sell to go and buy back lower. And I just say, don't risk it. During these big bull runs, I do not try and trade the little volatilities. I just buy at the bottom and try and sell at the top. Obviously that's very hard to do. That's the idea, that's my strategy. So I'm not gonna be buying and selling constantly throughout this cycle. I'm gonna have one big buy at the bottom, which I've already done. And I will let you know when I'm gonna be beginning to sell, which by the way, my price targets for when I'm thinking of selling is at least a hundred thousand US dollars this year. So if that doesn't get you excited, I don't know what does, but if you're feeling bullish, smash the like button on this video right now. Now let's bring out the moving averages like I had on my last video. They haven't done much else since the last video. So here we have the 200 day moving average, which is the red and the 21 week EMA, which is the blue line. And right now they are sitting pretty low compared to the current Bitcoin price. The 200 daily is sitting at around 14,000 and the 21 week is sitting just under 20,000. And usually the Bitcoin price tends to come back down to these moving averages to get a bounce off them. Now it's hard to tell when this might happen. It could happen literally tomorrow. It could happen in a week, in a month, in six months, who knows? But I'm just letting you know that Bitcoin does tend to come back to these moving averages eventually. So I did mention that in my last video and my last video was all about just being prepared for a retracement. I'm not saying it's gonna dump or anything anytime soon. But yeah, seriously, I see too many people get caught by surprise, especially if you're in a leverage trade when a dump comes along and then they get liquidated or they lose a bunch of Bitcoin and it's just not fun times. You're better off just buying and holding for the long term. That's my strategy. But yeah, going back to the four hourly, if this bearish divergence does play out, once again, I'll map out bearish divergence on the chart just here. And if this does play out, I would be looking at Bitcoin coming back to this recent high back here that we had of around 34 to 35,000 US dollars. That would be my short term target in the bearish scenario. But if we continue to make a new all time high, I'll be looking at $40,000 and above. Now switching over to the Ethereum USD chart, this is on the four hour chart. It is looking extremely strong right now. Honestly, Bitcoin's already looking extremely strong and I would say Ethereum's actually looking stronger than Bitcoin. Like if you're looking to put some more money into crypto, like for example, if I wanted to buy some more crypto, I myself would be putting more money right now into Ethereum rather than Bitcoin. And one of the major reasons is because I'll actually zoom out and I'll show you, this is on the weekly chart. And one of the major reasons why I'll be buying Ethereum right now over Bitcoin is the fact that Ethereum isn't even broken into new all-time highs yet. Bitcoin's nearly done a 100% gain since its previous all-time high of 20,000. While Ethereum is still under its all-time high, its all-time high is at around 1,500 US dollars per Ethereum, depending on what exchange you're looking at. Right now, Ethereum's at around 1,200 US dollars per Ethereum. So yeah, zooming back into the four hour chart, we do have that slight bearish divergence. It's not as obvious, I guess, as the Bitcoin one. So as you can see, a high and a higher high in the RSI, a low, and, oh, sorry, a high and a lower high. But as you can see in the RSI for Ethereum, at least, it's just kind of holding these levels. It's not like it's like a significant high and then a significant lower high like Bitcoin is. Instead, once again, it seems to just be broken above into the overall areas, but it's holding these levels pretty strong. And the volume levels, as you can see right now for Ethereum are remaining pretty consistent, which is very good. If we start seeing rapidly declining volume, then that can't be too good for Ethereum. But as of right now, once again, Ethereum has pretty consistent, strong volume coming in while the price is just surging higher and higher. I was about to say into new all time highs, but we're just about there. In fact, here on the weekly chart again, if you look, we are only about 30% away from a new all time high in Ethereum. And Ethereum just in the last five days gained over 50%. So a 30% gain that could happen literally any day now. Any day now, Ethereum could break its all time highs 
And when Ethereum does break its all time highs, which will be sometime soon, it's going to explode. If you have a look at the last time Ethereum broke its all time highs back in the previous bull market, Ethereum was sitting at around $20 when it broke it. And as you can see, it absolutely exploded from $20 up to like $1,500, which is pretty much a 9,000% gain. Now, I don't think we're going to see another 9,000% gain out of Ethereum, but the gain's still going to be pretty impressive. And as you guys can remember, just about a month ago, when Bitcoin broke its $20,000 all-time high, it exploded. And since then, it has pretty much doubled in price. And I think Ethereum is up next for those gains. So if you feel like you've kind of missed the boat on Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum is probably your next best bet. And a lot of other investors are thinking the same thing, which is why the price is beginning to go parabolic. Now, I'm actually going to throw in a bit of Chainlink technical analysis here. So let me know what you think about Chainlink. I myself do hold some Chainlink. Let me know if you hold some Chainlink down in the comments below. But yeah, Chainlink is actually looking incredibly bullish right now as well, especially on the bigger time frames. There's quite a few bullish signs coming out of Chainlink. First of all, Chainlink broke out of this downwards resistance that it's been in for quite some time. It's been under this line of resistance since November of last year. And now it is broken out of that resistance and it's seeing some huge gains. And not only that, Chainlink has actually made a new higher high on the bigger time frames. So this was the previous high sitting at around $17.30. And Chainlink recently got to around $18.30 on the recent high. Now, obviously higher highs is very bullish, but that's not just the only thing that's very bullish. If you look at the big pattern that Chainlink is in, it's in this big W formation. If you look at this, this double bottom formation, which is a classic bottom formation showing that Chainlink could be poised for huge gains coming soon. So the breakout for this trade, if you're trading Chainlink, is at the previous all-time high of around $20. If Chainlink breaks this $20 level, as I've just mapped out here, then there's really no more resistance for it. It's going to begin to explode further into 2021. Going back in Chainlink's history a little bit, the last time Chainlink broke its all-time high was back at around the $5 level and it exploded from $5 to 20 US dollars per link, which is a 4x gain. And it did that in the span of pretty much one month. And as you can imagine, a 4x gain in one month is pretty incredible. Chainlink was one of the top performers in the top cryptos last year. And I seriously think that going into 2021, Chainlink will be another top performer this year. If you haven't yet bought Chainlink, I would recommend doing some research on Chainlink, understanding what it's about, but I myself will be buying under the all-time high. Any buys under the all-time high, at least in my opinion, is a pretty good buy because the majority of the well-known big crypto projects out there, such as obviously Bitcoin, Ethereum, Chainlink, there's a lot to list. I'm not going to list all of the big projects out there. Let me know once again if you want me to make more videos on more altcoins. But yeah, I'm just saying that all of the big altcoin projects out there, like Link, for example, are going to break all-time highs in 2021. Bitcoin in this bull market is a leading indicator. Bitcoin has broken through its all-time high and has since pretty much doubled once again. And Bitcoin tends to lead the rest of the crypto market. So the fact that Ethereum is under its all-time high, the fact that Chainlink's under its all-time high, can be seen as pretty good buys in my opinion. None of this is financial advice, so make sure you do your own research, but this is just what I'm seeing on the charts. But yeah, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like down below. It lets me know that you enjoy these type of videos. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe with notifications on for more videos like this one. All of your support means a lot to me. I seriously appreciate it. And once again, I'll be answering every single comment on this video. So comment down below if you have any any questions or feedback for me or even just letting me know that you enjoy this video or if you want to see a new type of video on this channel but yeah that's just about all I have to say for this video I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one